Imagine your child walk into school and suddenly she steps on a landmine. Or your family is sick with malaria or diarrhea and the nearest health facility is five days walk away. This is the reality for thousands of people living in Burma. Burma has one of the worst healthcare systems in the world. The Burmese government spends 40 times more money on its military than on health and education combined. Burmese hospitals are poorly equipped and medical supplies are scarce and expensive. Many health professionals are in prison or have fled the country following the 1988 student uprising. Civil war, malnutrition, malaria and the rising spread of HIV AIDS have vastly increased the number of Burmese needing good health care. Internally displaced people in Burma have no access to government-sponsored health care and most cannot afford to pay expensive hospital fees, while Burmese migrant workers living in Thailand have only limited access to government hospitals and clinics. Medical options for these people are few. The best option is Dr. Cynthia Mong's mental clinic on the Thai Burmese border. And assuming from the outside, the clinic provides health care to a population of about 150,000 to 200,000 people. Migrant workers living in Thailand, as well as internally displaced people from inside Burma. They come by any means possible, some traveling for weeks, risking death from the Burmese military, or arrest from Thai authorities. With the current staff of 200, the medical clinic provides free and comprehensive health services, including inpatient and outpatient care, medicine, minor surgical services, lab and blood transfusion, reproductive health, child health, eye care, and prosthetics for landmine survivors. The clinic also provides training for nurses and healthcare workers, many of whom stay at the clinic as medics, while other returns to migrant communities, refugee camps, or villages in Burma to provide isolated people with direct care. School health programs, birth attendance home deliveries, and backpack healthcare workers are just a small part of the Metal Clinic's extensive community outreach program. So in 1989, when we established clinic, we established as an emergency medical assistant for the Burmese student who fled to the border. But gradually, we found out there are many others, like women, children, who could not access health service in Burma or in Thailand, we need to provide help. So since that time, the medical issue is, uh, is always had to integrate into the community service like uh, safe delivery or school health promotion, as well as education and counseling for young adult people who separated from their families or who were abusers are very important issue for us. So since that time, we try to strengthen our community network. The community integration is very important again for us because people separated from the family need some psychological support as well as need trust and uh, confidence uh, building among each other.
While the clinic has become a lifesaver and a community anchor for the people it serves, its resources are increasingly under pressure. Although the competency of the staff is steadily increasing, the clinic's funding situation severely limits its ability to serve a growing number of people in need of help. In 2004, the clinic documented a total of 102,000 visits in all its departments combined, representing a consistent annual increase of 30% from previous years. In MPD, we usually we don't have in a in a space uh, because uh, every day we has to admit ten patients for a break and every some other patient they they has to stay in MPD for a long time. A long time is me a month, sometimes a week. So we cannot dizzy, we cannot discharge them uh, quickly because uh, they they have a uh, severe illness. So the patient who are car later, they don't have best to stay. We we have to use a uh, extra space to keep them on the floor. Yeah. Uh, I suppose I suppose to make a uh, more bed here. And but at the moment we don't have enough money to to bay in the back. Yeah. To. So we just keep them on the floor at the moment. The medical inpatient department is under increasing pressure. About 25% of the patients are chronically ill, which means they have to stay for long periods of time. Patients often bring family members along for security while traveling and also to look after their daily needs. Although this relieves some of the care given responsibility from the clinic staff, it also adds to the crowded conditions. Uh, some of the patients, they are already come very far, and also there are already uh, three or four people to come to know after that. So we cannot uh, uh, see that to go back just only to uh, stay Despite recent expansions and the addition of a pediatrics area, the department is still struggling to accommodate the 50 to 60 patients and their families who stay here at any given time. Of the 4,000 plus admissions annually, about 30 to 40 percent are diagnosed with malaria. <laughs> Most of the cases are malaria, uh, respiratory red infection, like, uh, yeah, like I mean, pneumonia. Tuberculosis, yeah. Sometimes viral infection. Yeah. Also, we we can find all HIV. Yeah, the yeah, ideas here. And also some C uh, C A is mean can cancer. Yeah. AIDS patients and elderly persons too frail to return to their homes seek hospice care at the clinic. There is also a serious increase in the number of orphans and abandoned babies and young children at the clinic. In the children's inpatient department, malnutrition is a common problem. Here is a child ABD women. Um, the child who are, was malnutrition, we, 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 we feed in that here and also we admit them here. This child arrived here from inside Burma. Before he already has treated by the in Burma with, uh, with TB, but not, co uh, not complete, uh, complete the course. Yeah? And then when, when she arrived here, she was fitting and very thin, menorage, yeah? 
very thing. And also uh, unconscious. And then we we try we we continue the TB treatment. And then now he uh, she's getting better. The Metal Clinic works closely with numerous local and international medical organizations like the Burma Medical Association and the Current Health and Welfare Department. All tuberculosis patients are treated in collaboration with Medicine Sun Frontiers.